Miles McBride in the first half and then Culver in the second. There's a drive and with the left hand Elijah Harkless gets the Sooners on the board. From Davion Harmon. Matthews kisses it in. On the run Harkless bounce pass Harmon. Oh and the block there by Kedrian Johnson. Defensively look at Kedrian Johnson times it perfectly and that's why. West Virginia is 0 for 7 in three point shooting. Here's a three that's good from OU's Elijah Harkless. His footwork has gotten so much better. It really has. So good on his feet. Reeves with the scoop and score. By the way, Austin Reeves picked up his second foul before that last timeout, and there's an emphatic dump from. Jalen Hill. But now the Sooners have a chance for the final shot of the half. Trying to add to the three point lead, and instead, Harmon has it knocked away. And that would count. Oh! And it goes oh! for McBride, and we're tied. Uh, half court. Nicely done by Miles McBride. You knew a turnover like that. You just had a sense if he gets a look, and that dead on shot, Mark. Well, now off that left block. Harmon. Mm. I think Culver kind of looked at Bridges. They looked at each other, and Harmon split the pair and laid that in. Gibson now one for three from beyond the arc so far today. There's a three. Good for McNeil, his first points of the game. A 5 0 run by West Virginia. They're back up. Reeves trying to answer, and he does so. And he was caught in a matchup with Culver. You know, typical Lon Kruger. You get the matchup you want, put him on an island, and then take advantage of it. And there's Culver doing work on the other end. Culver now one of three from the line today after that miss. Reeves gets the contact from McNeil, and now Austin Reeves with an opportunity for a three-point play. And number five, an assist to turnover ratio in the Big 12 for Reeves. There's a scoop and score. And right now, Austin Reeves taking over offensively for the Sooners. Three. Gibson got it. That's his second three of the game. Against playing with three personals. Manic three. Got it. His second of the game. Tough shot for Davion Harmon. He's had a frustrating day, but made something out of nothing there. If it actually got touched, but uh, perhaps Reeves did sell it. And it keeps a possession for OU, an important one in a one possession game. Manic. And how big is that? With the shot clock winding down, they get another crack, and Manic hits his third three. Quick ball movement, Gibson feet set, and he is red hot with his fourth three of the game. Shot clock slips down to five. McNeil on Reeves. He's going to put up the three. Tough shot. Got it! One of these shots against Texas Tech the other night. A flyer from the make was the shot at the buzzer by McBride. They are five for nine in three point shooting in the second half. And that one off the line. Osa Boyan for McNeil. And we're tied. Stays hot. What a great heads up pass. Good play by Osa Boyan. Crucial possession for the Sooners. Down two 30 seconds to go. 15 to shoot. Gibson. Got it. We're tied. <laughs> Don't go too soon. McBride short gets his own miss puts it up again. Manic has it one second and we're going to overtime. Harmon shoots over McBride and scores. Mm. Have 22 points 11 rebounds open three Matthews. Manic able to deflect it. That ball to Matthews, who winds up getting the two points after a miss from the right corner initially. Matthews stays into play and ends up with the ball. Harkless all alone. He hesitates, throws it out. Three, Harmon. Good! Well, I'm sitting there and thinking. McNeil, deep three. That was for the lead. Tip, though, the tie bridges. Call timeout and it was very chaotic. 
So, so that's the only, but I'm with you. You know, in most cases, especially if it's tight. Reeves, three on the way, no. And we are headed to a second overtime. Culver's got 22, McNeil 21, so a couple of 20-point scores for the Mountaineers. Reeves leading all scores with 24. Nice tap, Parkless able to take it and score and is fouled. And there he is again. Nine rebounds for Bridges today, and as you mentioned, most of those have come here late. Gibson! His fifth three of the game. Double-digit rebounding for Jalen Bridges. Culver, Manic playing with four fouls, and Culver just zips right past him to lay it in. Manic playing with four fouls. Culver, big time. Very tough shot with that left hook. Sooner shot clock at four. Harmon trying to create the drive and the bucket, and that ended well for the Sooners, Chris, but it wasn't going well prior to that lane opening up there for Harmon. McBride leads in and scores, and they executed just about perfectly there, Chris, scoring with 40 and a half seconds left. The best closers in college basketball. He's been the best closer in the Big 12. Look at this show he's putting on. I mean, that's just, I'm better than you, and this thing is going down. He's the competitive spirit for this team. He's their heart and soul. He's first team all Big 12. Miles McBride comes up big again. What that was a tough finish. Yeah, and, and that's a textbook clear out there, Chris. All the other jerseys were on the other yeah. side. 30 seconds to go in the second OT. Reeves from 14. Wow. <laughs> what a battle. This could be like the previous closure of the regulation period. But what a play by Reeves here, Chris. Well, it's a false ball screen. You're trying to get West Virginia to react. Miles My McBride stays locked in on Reeves, and that's just two terrific players. Culver. Blocked by Queth, and that touched Culver while out of bounds. OU ball with seven seconds left. Time McBride triggers it. Over the top for Culver. Block. Hill. Second chance. No! And Oklahoma hangs on and wins it in Morgantown 91 to 90. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.